poppin welcome back to Raina's logic i'm Raina, and i'm just gonna show you guys how i did this blue bitch the first thing i did was take that elmer's glue right there put it all on my eyebrows in every which direction i would suggest using the purple glue for some reason that tends to work better then i'm gonna go ahead and take these orange and yellow eyeshadows and that's to help color correct my eyebrow and to kind of cancel it out under me, the concealer I am going to be adding and to truly make your eyebrows disappear you want the texture to disappear as well so do a few layers of the glue and then the eyeshadow back and forth and then you're gonna be using some concealer I'm using this pro conceal and just my little beauty sponge and I am just packing it on and BAM bitch my eyebrow is gone Next with this Becca Skin Love Foundation, I'm gonna just squirting it onto that sponge and putting this all over. And honestly, you guys don't have to do this step with the foundation all over. I just wanted to create like a cleaner base under, but then I'm taking this CC Beauty Professional Body Painting Cream Body Paints and taking that light blue and putting that all over. I noticed the sponge wasn't really letting it look as pigmented as I wanted it. So I just like started rubbing it all over with my fingers and I feel like I was getting the best payout for that. So I just rubbed it all over my chest, my arms, my face, and I was just dancing, you know, doing my thing. And I'm taking this liquid latex that I got from Walmart and just like this prego lid, whatever you want to use as a surface, but I'm just using that lid, putting the glue in there, and then taking this cotton ball that I put in between my hands like so, and just got it into more of this shape right there. You see that, you see that? And I'm putting it into the glue like that, running it all over making sure all the sides are nice and wet and saturated and sticky running it through my hands one more time to make sure it still keeps the shape I'm desiring and then I am just gonna stick that onto my head and then I'm doing that with as many of these as I desired which I think was like maybe like 10 of them something like that adding some to my nose now with that same cream blue paint from earlier I'm taking it and just putting it all over making sure those cotton balls are colored and blue so they match more and then with this darker cream blue cream paint blah 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 I'm going to be using that to contour my face like my cheeks my forehead my nose and even around those little cotton parts that I put on this brush and I'm taking it under my collarbones and I'm sorry that it's blurry right here out of focus but I'm just contouring everything you see just I'm going all around that creating shadow and depth because I really wanted them to stand out more putting them under and snatching up that nose baby look oh snatched look ah. with the white and that same cream palette I'm gonna go ahead and use that same brush I was using earlier for contouring but now that it's nice and clean I'm going to be using it for highlighting all of these areas so I'm adding the white cream paint all to the tops even to the top of my nose and that little part in between my eyebrows and I'm even gonna be taking it as like basically just like a highlight wherever there's a shadow there's a highlight throwing it up on my cupid's bow baby and we're just gonna make everything pop you know add more contrast also don't forget to do your chest if you want to do your chest as well and then I'm adding it to the tips of my shoulders and just trying to make me look slimmer so I believe this palette is a limited edition palette by wet and wild that I got a few years ago but this cream paint is basically a blue that's more has like a shimmery highlight to it so I just wanted to add that as a base and then I'm going in with these blues right here in my take me to Brazil palette and I'm just kind of setting everything with that blue eyeshadow to make it look more intense you see the difference and then I'm taking that darker blue on the smaller brush right here to really like contour everything and set everything I've carved out. In this BH Cosmetics palette right here, I'm taking those two shades and they're like these shimmery highlights almost. And I'm using that to highlight everywhere on my face. However, I forgot to get that footage. So next I'm taking this black from my Take Me to Brazil palette and I am putting that all over my eyelid and taking it up into my forehead, basically over where my eyebrows actually were. And then with this smaller compact brush, I'm going to be using that to take it under my waterline. And I'm just going to smoke that black out under. And then with this AOA Glow Baby Illuminating, Illuminating Drops, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my eyelid starting from the inner corner and working my way out. It has like this beautiful blue hue to it, so I love that as like a base. And I'm taking this blue glitter right here. Again, it was from AOA. And I am just patting that on top of it. I would have used like a glitter glue, but I wasn't going anywhere. So I didn't want to really glue all that down just to take it off. But with that eyeshadow again from that BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to just highlight a little bit more on those inner corners to make it like pop. My Cupid's bow and wherever I needed it. And then with the back of this mascara right here, I'm just adding all these black dots to just add texture to my look. 
and I'm using the sides of it and the tip of it to just have different size dots and then into this eyeliner brush right here I'm taking some white body paint and doing the same thing and then I'm just using my finger to tap that out I'm gonna be using that same concept on one side of my chest and neck and I really like the idea of it being heavier set on one side so I'm going under my collarbone above my collarbone and on my neck adding all those black dots and then once it's kind of drying still a little wet I tap it out with my finger and then I'm going over it with some white paint and then doing the same thing so I just kind of put it in tap it when it's starting to dry and then get it to where I like it I'm gonna take this shimmer roll on right here bam that is like so popping putting it all up on my collarbones so I just looking all shimmery and shiny and like glistening in the light bitch look at that Ooh, cute the next thing I'm gonna do is take these cute pearl gems and just stick them wherever I think looks good like the middle of my forehead and above some of these you know just to add some cuteness to the face bitch you know what I'm talking about and then I'm basically going to be doing the same thing I was doing to my chest and my eyes on this part of my face more so. I like kind of like it dominant in some areas opposed to the other and it not look super symmetrical. You know what I'm saying? I'm adding that black and then that white doing that same texture really heavy on one side lightly on the other with some black eyeshadow. I am taking that on my mouth and almost doing like a T shape starting with the inside of my mouth and then going up in my cupid's bow down to my chin the sides of my mouth and with the cotton ball you kind of just like cleaned up my face and take some eyeliner and I'm just adding dots for texture and you know just making it look more fabulous and I needed some wings all up on those eyes so I just did very small wings because I didn't want to take away from what was already on the eye then add some mascara and then of course we're gonna pop on some lashes gotta make your eyes pop you know with all that glitter already on it all those dots you need lashes baby and I really didn't think that glitter was enough, so we're gonna go ahead into this darker blue, and I'm kind of gonna, kind of gonna go to little, <laughs> keep that on the outside of my eyes. So you know, it's more like a gradient, and then I'm adding that all up on my chest. So my life motto is make your problem your solution and my problem was I wanted this wig originally straight and it was so tangly already I was like you know what we're gonna make that the look so I back combed it use my fingers see I'm just like going through it all crazy throw it on and make that the look you know what I mean make your problem your solution bitch that goes for life so we're just gonna make it look on purpose and make it look crazy so this is the finished product my son is very amped about it if you can hear which is awesome, awesome. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>